Uh, good afternoon, good early evening to those that are on the East Coast, uh, those that may be on Central Time. Thank you for uh, joining in with us today. Uh, thank you for your patience um, today um, as we needed to have everything where it needed to be from a technical standpoint. And certainly uh, at this point in time, we are there. Uh, this is a special edition, um, a unique edition of uh, Hurt for the Hurting platform on today, uh, where we are able to introduce a former partnership with one of the leading organizations, Christian organizations in the world. And uh, certainly we are, I have been using Logos for umpteen years. That means so long that I can't even remember the years, umpteen years. Uh, we've been using Logos. It's been a blessing to our ministry to this very day. Uh, we use them for scripture, for languages, uh, to supplement our uh, commentaries that are not physically in our library, um, and so on and so on and so on. It has expanded in so many ways over the years. It has grown. Um, it is the Netflix of Bible software, uh, meaning that it has expanded its reach, its concept. It has adjusted with the times. And uh, certainly today we'll hear a little bit more about how they have adjusted. And then um, there's a unique assignment on my part, slightly selfish aspect to it, uh, to be able to partner with them here with the Hurt for the Hurting, uh, to bring you, our viewers, um, a special element as a discount for these services, and then at the same time be a dual blessing uh, to us. And so today we have a special guest representing this wonderful organization. Uh, he's a dear brother. Uh, he's a man of God, but he is today in the capacity of a representative for Logos. Uh, we yet honor him as such, though, still. And um, we are grateful and thankful uh, that in the midst of all that is taking place in this season at this wonderful organization, uh, we must say thank you to them for thinking of us and say thank you for taking time to make this presentation to us. And so I wanna take a moment before we get into the formalities of Logos and how this relationship is going to work. I want us to learn a little bit more about this great man of God. And so um, uh, Gabe, if you could just take the floor now, uh, begin by telling us how you're doing. Certainly that is our prayer and I wish that all would be well with you. Your uh, journey into the faith, your journey into ministry and your journey into Logos, those threefold things. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, uh, Pastor. It's been a pleasure uh, getting to know you. Uh, I was following you on Facebook, and I said I have to somehow connect with this brother. He knows some giants in the ministry, and I wanted to be a part of what you have going on uh, personally and professionally. Uh, so just starting off, I am originally from High Point, North Carolina, uh, born and raised. Uh, right outside the county line, I would say, uh, right next door to Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, they call it the Triad area. High Point, Greensboro, Winston-Salem is the Triad area. Uh, probably about an hour uh, and a half north of Charlotte, hour and a half north of Raleigh, North Carolina. I was raised up in a, in a family. My mom and dad, they've been married 47 years. And my dad, he's a pastor in High Point. North Carolina today. And so I was raised in church. I was licensed by Dr. Craig L. Oliver in Atlanta, Georgia. So after I graduated from North Carolina A&T with my bachelor's in education, I moved for about six months uh, to Northern Virginia to teach. And then I moved down to Atlanta, Georgia on faith. Uh, it was it was a faith move, no job, um, it, it was it was a test of faith because there was something greater uh, that was in me that I had to fulfill. I had to be a part of. And I heard the, uh, the teaching and the preaching of Dr. Craig Oliver. And instantaneously, we joined hands uh, in ministry together. I became his son in ministry. He licensed me in 2009. Uh, it was in Atlanta where I learned about Luther Rice Seminary. Uh, that's in Lithonia, Georgia. So I went there to study. And I got my Master's of Divinity degree in uh, Christian Studies. Graduated from Luther Rice in 2015 and began to uh, launch out into my own. I started G Harper Ministries to where I serve the least, the lost, and the looked over. Meaning I go downtown, I feed the homeless, I preach to them. And so my ministry started, I would say, 
uh, in the streets, even before Pastor Oliver licensed me, uh, my three points and a close and my invitation was given right there on Peachtree Street uh, in some of the most uh, dangerous, uh, poverty-stricken neighborhoods. Uh, but then my father, I prayed, I asked him to pray about it. And we talked about it. My father ordained me uh, in November of 2015. And so my journey has been a, a, a good journey. It has been uh, it has been a, a journey that has been turbulent, but still yet I've gained my strength. And last but not least, I worked in ministry with Dr. E. Dewey Smith here uh, probably about two years uh, as his outreach pastor you know, doing funerals and uh, community outreach, hurricanes and things of that nature. And so while I was still working there, I found Faith Life um, while I was just looking for more opportunities within ministry, just being honest. And uh, this knocked on my door, made one phone call, had one conversation. And uh, Logos and I have been together now for two and a half years. It has been one of the best opportunities in my career to where uh, I heard I get to travel across the country to church conferences and to present Logos Bible software on stage. I get to train leaders and teachers and students uh, about this cutting edge software. So needless to say, before God elevated me to a platform to where I can preach and teach, I served for many years, armor bearer, associate minister, carrying Bibles, carrying briefcases, carrying towels. So I served and uh, I thank God for that journey. So now you have me here to where I can stand on behalf of Faith Life and down tell you a little bit more about that. Praise God and thank you so much for sharing that, um, your testimony, your journey. Um, uh, you're a heavyweight within your own right and we praise God for that uh, because of your reach and because of your sincerity in ministry. Uh, talk to us a little bit about Logos, um, why this is something that you believe every pastor, every preacher, every Christian, every Bible teacher uh, should have. Um, um, let's not get into the full thing, but maybe just the historical presentation of it uh, right now. Sounds good. Um, one, one of the most important things that every teacher, uh, every Bible student, pastor, I should say, needs to have uh, in this juncture in life is, is, is a cutting edge tools that's going to help you grow into the light and help you go deeper in, in, in God's word. You, you got to have tools. Now, I'm sure how I grew up, Hurt grew up, and how many of us grew up, we grew up walking into offices uh, of pastors, and they had hundreds, if not thousands of books uh, on the bookshelf in their office. They may have a huge office at home, or they have maybe an even bigger office with books at their church office. Uh, my father had both. And so I, too, picked up that same trait, if you would, ordering all types of books for seminary, for personal study, for personal gain. Until I came in contact with Logos, uh, I realized I can't travel with all of my books. I can't take all of my uh, commentaries, all of my uh, systematic theology books. I can't take all of my different translations on the road with me. And so one of the good things that I love about Logos is that you have an electronic library that you can have all of your books uh, that you study with from different commentaries, from your different lexicons, from your different Bible dictionaries, from all of your Bible translations that you may preach from, at least your top three to five or six that you may read. Uh, Logos, I'm sure, has that for you. And so if indeed you're going to be... Uh, I should say, in the now, in the 21st century, making sure that you have all the tools that you need with you, Logos, number one, it can travel with you. It can go anywhere with you, on your iPad, on your tablet, on your phone. Now, let me just give you a little historical uh, back, you know, some hi history um, in the backdrop of Logos. Um, Bob Pritchard is it's a now. And one of the things... Uh, that I love about Bob Pritchard is he. this is a passion of his. He is a software developer. He has been in his genes even when he was young. I believe it was in the mid-80s, around 1986. Uh, I think Bob was still in high school, if you would. He created uh, a, a form of a Bible software uh, 
that will help you research the King James Version. And he did that in 1986. Uh, fast forward just a few years. Uh, he left Drexel University a year earlier as an opportunity was uh, op uh, was afforded to him at Microsoft. Bob Pritchett was one of the youngest software computer developers at Microsoft. And in 1992, Bob and another friend of his began to write Bible software. And that is what led to what we know today as Logos Bible Software. But then it was Logos Research Systems Incorporated. 1992 is when it all began. And then they was in New Jersey. A lot of people don't know that, but it started in New Jersey. Um, but in February of 1992, they moved to Washington State. All right. And now we are located in the city called Bellingham, Washington. All right. That's probably about an hour and 45 minutes north of Seattle, Washington. All right. So a lot of us probably will never go to Bellingham. But uh, I had the wonderful opportunity to visit up there. It's right next to Canada. Uh, the borders are real close. And but now a lot of people probably even didn't know about Logos in the early 90s. But if indeed there was a shift that took place, it was in 1995 when Logos Bible uh, Systems came out with version two. Uh, and it came out, which was the first concept of a library concept. All right. So Logos 2, they introduced the first concept of what we call a library, right? A, a, a Logos Bible software library. That was the first concept of it. And, and things began to grow as, 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 as the company grew, more software was developed. In 2012, Hurt, we came out with a software known as uh, Proclaim. Uh, mm -hmm. You may be familiar with that, but Proclaim is a yeah. church presentation software. And pastors that are watching, if you do not have Proclaim and you do not have, uh, let's just say, for example, uh, media to show a countdown of your service to begin. That's an example of things we have. If you don't have the media to showcase worship songs, we have that for you. If, uh, what The media that can showcase your announcements. Let's just say when church gets back in, get, get back in and somebody parks illegally, you know, something to pop up on the screen with the license plate, move your car, things. We have all types of software that churches can use. And that came out in 2012, known as Proclaim. All right. Another thing that Faith Life came out with um, is Logos Mobile Education. We are more than just Bible software. There are different avenues to our company. And in 2013, they, they, they released Logos Mobile Education. In other words, you can take your cell phone. This is my mother. Um, you can take your cell phone and literally take mobile education classes from seminary trained professors right on your mobile device without ever having, having to step into a classroom. And so you can take all types of courses uh, on there, different topics that you can study right from your mobile device. And so we released that. And one of the things that uh, that shifted a lot of people, and let me bring clarity to this. A lot of people call us Logos Bible Software. That's correct. We sell software. But in 2014, the company shifted and rebranded its name as Faith Life. Right. All right. So we are a company that that is geared to equip the church to grow in the light of the Bible. So we expanded our reach more so than just Bible software, but Logos Mobile Education, Proclaim. You know, we have different resources as well that I did not mention, but you can find them at logos.com and read the story. And as of recent, 2018, we released Logos 8. That's what we're on today, Logos 8. And that launched in English, Spanish, German, Portuguese, Korean, and even Chinese. We have this listed and have this software in different translations. It is the best cutting edge Bible software in the world. We have over 4 million users. We have over 400 employees. And we have an inbound, an outbound sales. I mean, it is a phenomenal company 
that is geared to help train and equip the church. And this has been a lifesaver for me. I use Logos daily. I use it to study. I use it when I was in school and I was seminary. I used it last Sunday when I preached for uh, Dr. Flippin in Atlanta, Georgia. I write my sermons in it. So in a nutshell, Logos has changed many people's lives, including my own. And that's a little history about Logos Bible software. Thanks. A lot of us heard the name, but I think that's very enlightening to hear um, more of the history background, uh, how it manifests itself into what it is today. Uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, what the emphasis and the switch of faith life was about. Um, we know that it was a software. We know that it would help us with our study. Mm -hmm. I think right intrinsic to, to the name faith life. Uh, what, what are you all getting at there? One of the things that I believe that, um, and I don't know the full true concept of it, but one of the things that stand behind that name Faith Life was to understand that this is a company that is faith-based, that is geared to help the church. And we wanted to encompass everything that we are producing. So so the, the I should say, um, the aim, our goal, our, our mission statement, it is to, again, to equip the church in every facet that we can. It, this is a one-stop shop to equip the church, here it is, but to grow in the light of the Bible. So we understand it takes faith. We understand that uh, it, it's a life of faith. It is a life of, 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 of dedication that you want to give to this walk. So, um, just from my concept of working with the company, Faith Life, that name encompasses everything that it takes to walk this life. But we want to make sure that we are equipping those who are in the church, even if you're outside of the church, we want to make sure that you are still growing. And so it's going to be a faith life in order for you to grow. Wow. Appreciate that, man. That's a critical component to um, what we're going to be talking about in the coming times. Um, Tell us a little bit uh, more about uh, those that are listening. I know we're going to get into the presentation, mm -hmm. um, but tell before we get into that sort of the wet the appetite of what's yet to come, uh, tell uh, us a little bit more about how this can be a partnership um, in one's church, a uh, member, discipleship, especially growing in the faith, life by, by life, coming alongside, uh, ensuring, especially during this pandemic, uh, that right at people's fingertips, literally, uh, they have access to resources that can navigate them through and the possible expansion. And I know we've talked about um, of centering this on even more things uh, that become critical and unique uh, to the African-American context. Yes, yes, yes. So thank you for that opportunity. Well, first of all, let me start with pastors. If there's any pastors that can hear me and that's watching this, one of the things that we could do to partner is uh, bring alongside of you Logos Bible Software into your own personal Bible study, number one. But we can come together and say if you had a group of ministers, teachers, um, leaders that you would like to um, equip them to help them in their personal studies. Uh, if it's been a blessing to you. Well, you and I, we can partner to bring it to your audience, to your church, to your leaders. Just off a Zoom meeting, I could present it. I could show them. All right. And then we can talk furthermore of how that can be a blessing to your ministry, uh, just like it is here at Pastor Hurt. Uh, second of all, just when it comes to your personal, uh, your study, your personal I should say, encounter with Logos and Gabriel. For those of you who say, well, I want to learn more about it. I want to uh, bring this to my group. I may have a Bible study. I have a group of ladies. We meet every other Wednesday. We, we, we meet once a month. Can you possibly come alongside and do a presentation for us? Is there any way that you can teach us how to do this? Absolutely uh, correct. So if there is anybody out there that's interested in just learning more, bringing me to a group of people, you can get in contact with me at gabe.harper at faithlife.com. We'll talk more about that. And here it is. Third of all, we are excited 
um, eventually. Now, COVID-19 put this on pause, um, but we are excited um, to be preparing to launch the first African-American uh, library, uh, content, information, uh, if you would, uh, theologians, Bible dictionaries, books, preaching of all African-American content. I said it right. Logos Bible Software. We are in preparation. We are gearing up, all right, to bring to you the first African-American Bible software with preachers, teachers, theologians. Uh, it, I mean, we're trying to get that together. We, we wanted to bring it out uh, this year at some of the conferences, but again, we had to slow that down. So we are steadily working. You know, we take into the account, here it is, hurt what people say. We have heard enough and we have brought uh, the opinions of, 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 of the crowd. We have of our customers and we are now working more uh, on building a software that will relate to the African-American community. So I'm excited about that. I'm a part of that. Uh, that's going to be a great opportunity um, for our community, brother. Absolutely. I appreciate you uh, sharing that with us. Uh, now, uh, let's get to the good part because people are saying, hey, uh, maybe I at Logos, I bought it a long time ago. I didn't pull it up. I haven't been using it. Uh, maybe you're hearing of Logos for the first time and you say, hey, I'm sold. Others of you, uh, you've heard about it, but now the pandemic has hit and you see the necessity of it. Um, um, our dear brother is going to walk us through, uh, through this. And um, the floor is yours for the presentation component of it uh, for people to see. Um, just firsthand how smooth, how effective, how clean uh, the process is as it relates to study. Uh, as he's, as our dear brother Gabe is preparing that, uh, let me remind you uh, to share this page, like this page, uh, be um, ch check out our past interviews on the Hurt for the Hurting YouTube channel. Uh, this one obviously will be on there at a wonderful conversation on yesterday. Uh, Reverend Dr. Uh, Dominique Robinson, uh, Dean there at the Chapel of Wiley College in Texas, home of the great debaters. Um, and so if you missed that, you want to go back and check that out and then um, be on the lookout for next week. Uh, Money Matters Monday with uh, Darren Gooden. I'll be here. Um, powerful conversation that you don't want to miss. And then as well, dear Christian friend, on Thursday, uh, the one and only Reverend Dr. John Adolph will be with us and we'll get to learn a lot about this man of God, the work that he's doing, uh, even some of the work that he's doing with Faith Life slash Logos um, as well. Uh, with that being said, um, uh, now we're going to get ready for the presentation, the learning part of the, uh, so we can get the burning and the learning. Uh, we'll get that in there now. Uh, Gabe is in your hand. All right. Um I just, so can you see my screen? I want to make sure you can see this. The home page is you, you can see that doc? Yes, yes, I'm all right. Yes. All right, so with that being said, um, and hopefully hurt, we're going to have to schedule another one for four, um, and maybe we can do another 60 minute presentation and we, we get it out. I'm just going to show you all just a snippet of what Logos can do just from the app version. This is app.logos.com. So if you are watching right now, if you're on your iPad, if you are on your cell phone, th this is for those right now. If you're on your cell phone or iPad, type in app.logos.com. This is for that crowd right now. We're going to do another one uh, soon. Uh, and this is going to be from those, this is for everybody from your computer at that particular point. For app.logos, if indeed you're ever traveling, if you are perhaps train, car, you pull up your phone, you're, you're headed to a Bible study, you need to prepare for a lesson, you can go right here and ask, okay, what am I preaching? You know, you could be preaching out of James. Say if you're preaching uh, James chapter two, you can type in James chapter two, and what pops up are the different things uh, that comes up in your Bible study about James. But let's just say you just want to click on the Bible. Well, if you click on the Bible, it's going to give you, uh, I should say, the commentary, and then you can open up different Bible translations if you want to, right beside it, your commentary. 
So you got James type, James chapter two in your Bible knowledge commentary. And then you have James chapter two right here in your English standard version. So you can read verse by verse alone in the Bible and alone in your commentary. It's just that simple. All right. And that's right off your phone, not carrying any books. I can X that out. Let's just say, for example, if you wanted to go to docs, if you want to do a Bible word study right from your phone, say if that uh, Bible word study is just talking about trust, right? Just trust. You can type in trust right from your phone. Click the trust button. And guess what you're going to get? You're going to get Greek words on trust, right? Different, different Greeks. You can play around with it. You can get different passages on trust, different passages that you can read about right here on trust. You can get the Hebrew right here on trust. So you can get Greek and Hebrew and different passages that you can find on the word trust, all from just doing a Bible word study, right? What about a, a, the exegetical guide? If you wanted to find out what the meaning of the text, what the author was trying to say in it, you can say, well, what part of trust, what, what scriptures, what lesson do I want to talk about specifically in trust? Do you want to talk about trust God? Do you want to talk about trust in the face of death? Do you want to trust in God alone or just trust in God? You have different things that uh, different things that come up that pro um, not Proverbs, but Logos brings up. And so let's just click on Proverbs 3, 1 through 10. You have all this information just off of clicking on the word trust in God and you have the exegetical background information, the verse by verse, word for word information. Ladies and gentlemen, this is off of your cell phone. Do you hear me? Your iPad, right? So I can X all of this information out. I can go up here, click on my library, click on my books to see, well, let me see what books do I have in my library on James, right? So guess what? I can check all of my results. Logos tells me I have over 100 results right here that I can look throughout my library that's dealing with James, right? Even the exegetical summary on James. That's a book that I can read in my library right here. All I have to do is click on it, right? So you can always check your library resources based upon what you have. Maybe you don't want to put in James. Maybe you just want to put in trust and see what comes up on trust in your books. Seven different results, right? But typically you want to put in a um, a commentary name or you want to put in a book name to get more results, all right? So you got docs. All of your docs, those are the things that you have saved in your computer. All of these are messages that I've preached, right? That I can pull up. So if indeed, uh, teacher, uh, if you have messages in your docs, you can pull it up right off your phone and you can preach it right off your phone. So if you ever have to travel, if you have to, if you have an impromptu opportunity and you have things that's in your docs, but you don't have your computer, go to your phone, go to app.logos.com. These are where all your messages are located. All right. Again, you have guides. Guides is like the pillars. Pillars, that's holding the software up. That's why I like to explain it. You got the Bible word study, the exegetical guide, the passage guide. Oh, I love the passage guide. You can study James chapter two by putting James chapter two in the passage guide. And Logos is going to give you a lot of information. Check this now. You got all of your commentaries that can open up right at James chapter two. It's going to open up, right? You got your journals. You got cross references. You got parallel passages, literary typing. You got interesting words that people that that Logos is saying. These are words that you want to pay attention to based upon what's in James. All of this information right on your phone, right? And it can go much more on the computer. You got the Atlas you can pull up. You got the Canvas. You got courses. Factbook. I love Factbook. Say if you wanted to learn more facts on the word trust. Factbook is like Google. You know how we go to Google and type everything? You can literally go to Factbook, click trust, and Factbook is going to bring up all the passages 
that talks about, uh, I should say key verses that talks about trust. You have the dictionaries that you can find in your library that talks about trust. And you can just click on them right here. You can see what it has to say, the definition of it, all that information. Then you have the senses of the word trust, to believe, faith, to trust, faith, trust in the gospel. And you have so much more information, all right? And that's fact book. All of these are your tools that you can have just off of your iPad, just off of your phone. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is Logos Bible software on the mobile version, on the mobile version, iPad app, app.logos.com. Now, if you are interested, if you are interested in finding out more information of how to purchase Logos, here it is. Only thing I need you to do is email me at gabe.harper at faithlife.com. Is anywhere we can put that in the chat um, on the screen? Gotcha. Yeah. Gabe, G-A-B-E, dot Harper, H-A-R-P-E-R, at faithlife.com. Listen, for being a part of the Hurt for the Hurting and learning more about Faith Life, we are giving a special 25% off discount, right? You get in contact with me today, you want to say, Gabe, I purchased logos five years ago. I don't know what I have. Can you help me? I sure can. Just email me. We, I get your email. I'll look you up in the system. So only thing I need to let you know, we got different libraries ranging from the $30 range up to $98. I can give you all that information. I can't show it on my screen right now. I had a little technical difficulty showing the PowerPoints, but my point is, if indeed you wanted to find out more about what area, like for example, the silver library, the silver library is just good for a Bible study teacher. If you're just teaching Bible study and you don't, you're not a pastor, you're not a per se, a preacher that's itinerant, you're just teaching the good silver library. You can get that for around 36 to 37, $38 a month. If you are in ministry, itinerant preacher, but you're not a pastor. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You can get the gold library. That would be around 50 something dollars a month. That's the number one selling starter library right there. It's the gold ministry library. And then what I'm presenting today is on my computer is the platinum. Platinum is more academic, more seminary. But what I personally have is the diamond. All pastors need the diamond library. And we can get that to you for around $87 a month. So I have to give you more personal information. I can explain more. Just email me at gabe.harper at faithlife.com for your 25% off that ends tomorrow at midnight. All right. Email me only and, and, and come through Gabe because we are partnering with Herp. So when you come through me, you have to understand you're helping my pastor, my brother, Pastor Hurt, understand? So God bless you, brother. Any other questions, anything else that people are saying? I don't know if I have any uh, need to address anything else. No, I think that's it. Uh, what we're going to do as well is we're going to set up a Zoom time. Uh, we'll get that information out to our listeners uh, and we can go in even more in depth into yeah. that. Uh, the information is right there for you, G-A-B-E. Uh, dot H A R P E R at Faith Life F A I F A I T H L I F E dot com. That's who you want to email, ma'am. That's who you want to email, sir. Um, even for packages, pastors, schools, uh, universities that are out there, Bible training schools. Uh, go through our brother Hate, our, our brother Gabe. Uh, um, he is uh, going to handle everything with professionalism and expeditious, expeditiously. And uh, we'll also uh, get a Zoom call uh, for those that want to interest see even more. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll make sure we'll set that up uh, for everybody to do so. Um, we are honored. We are excited. We are, are delighted. We are elated that you will come and share with us. Um, and we're going to uh, close out in prayer. I want to whisper a word of prayer over our brother, over Logos, over Faith Life, um, over every pastor, preacher, every church leader, every minister, 
every Bible uh, student, every Sunday school teacher, every small group leader uh, that will intertwine with faith life, uh, be it past, present, or future, um, and that more importantly, the kingdom of God will be edified and glorified in light of this. All right. Um, so uh, let's let's pray. And then please, ma'am, please, sir, look out for this. Share this information. Even if that's not you, you know somebody that needs to share this information. And they will be a regular guest here um, on various times. They'll come through through interviews and uh, remind us <laughs> of, of this resource. Um, and um, even in the coming week, uh, we'll have that for you. Uh, be on the lookout for Monday, uh, Money uh, Money Matters Monday. A real estate guru, expert, uh, dear friend will be here with us to talk to us. Remember, on Mondays, we're trying to use this time uh, to equip you not to just to honor the Lord with your 10%, but we want the whole 100%. What do you do with the rest of the 90 and that you're honoring God and that he can breathe on those um, initiatives that you take? Um, the Mark Kwan, uh, those who have uh, went to that Zoom and followed up with that. Um, be on the lookout for Mark. He will be reaching out to you. If you want more information, you watch the interview um, in past. Um, please let us know at hurtforthehurting at gmail.com and we'll get that to you. And then Thursday, we'll try to get Gabe back here too for a moment. Thursday, uh, Pastor uh, Dr. Reverend Dr. John Adolph, that uh, uh, J great giant of the preacher will be with us on Thursday. We'll get to learn a lot about him and also um, about um, how God is using him in this season of pandemic. Let's pray. Thank you all again for listening. Be on the lookout for this on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel if you want to rewatch. Father, we love you and thank you. We um, come covering our dear brother Gabe in prayer. Bless everything that pertains to him. Bless him from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. I pray, Father, that he would bring that you would bring every holy desire to pass in his life. I thank you for Logos. Thank you for its founders. Thank you for every worker, uh, every integral part of faith life, Lord. I pray that you will use uh, this institution for your glory to edify your people in the matter of discipleship and then even equip them to go out to the lost and to share the gospel, defend the faith. Lord, we pray for everyone that is listening today, that you will provide for every need, that you will grant every holy desire, um, that in this season of pandemic, political chaos, civil unrest, mental strain, and economic yeah. uncertainty, that you will be yet a light in a way. All these things we pray for Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen.